to Kung Fu Pod. Kung Fu means hard work, and that's exactly what this podcast is about. How you can apply hard work to your everyday life. Today we are joined by special guest Sifu Michael Johnson from Switzerland. And here to assist him is Sifu Oscar Agamante from the Wallam Temple. So I'm going to leave it to them to take it away for some practical self-defense application. Hi, today we're going to be talking about opposing force in Kung Fu and the, and the way it works in your applications. So basically, here's the, uh, a very simple machine called a scissors. It uses opposing force. So you have two things that are going in two opposite ways. Now the scissor only works if its opponent is in the middle. So here we go. That's how a scissor works. If you don't put the opponent in the middle, nothing's happening. So where you put your opponent is what creates the action in the opposing force. Okay, now, humans, first I'll demonstrate for you from your form. Second exercise. The opposing force is left hand pulls hip, back leg turns in the opposite direction. Hand and foot, hand and foot. To get up, if Oscar's in a right lead, he's in a right lead. Sorry, let's try left lead on this one, just to see it a little bit better. All right, now look, if I'm here, he's not in the middle. He's not between the legs of the scissors. So to make the opposing first force work, I have to step in. Now I'm pulling one way and I'm, my, my stance is changing. Here's the crucial part. I'll put him in the middle of the scissors. He's against my leg. Then the opposing force is the turn of my leg and the pull of my arm. So one more time. Yes, that works, but it's not using the opposing force. Instead, it's step in and then the leg is moving this way, arm is moving that way. Okay, next one. From third exercise, from third exercise, last move. Pull, punch. Where's the opposing force? Leg goes, arm goes one way, stance changes, leg is pushing out the other way. That's the opposing force done that way. With Oscar, he's in the other lead. Okay, here he comes, right lead. Okay, here's one way. Okay. Again, done that way, it's done the opposing force way, again, here it is, leg to leg, crucial, leg to leg, arms pulling them this way, now I'm, there it is, that's the motion, like so, again, alright, that's done, one way this way, to use the scissor technique, opposing force, arm pull, Stance change. That's third exercise. Okay, keep going. One more. That's good. That's up to you. Yeah, okay, one more. Good. So, fourth exercise looks like this. Here, here, okay? So, and uh, he's gonna throw a roundhouse kick. I'm gonna use X block to block. Okay, all right, and then strike, okay? Again, he's roundhousing, boom, strike. The opposing force is like this, he comes in. Now look, what's the idea? The idea is the leg and the turn. The leg and the turn, thank you. Good, one more time. It's done from here, boom. Hit, or from here, I must step in. There it is, that's all you got right there, just from the hold and the step in. The idea is the upper body and the lower body are going opposing. The opponent must be in the middle between the legs. And that's it for today. And thank you very much. All right. Thank you so much to Sipo Michael Johnson from Switzerland and Sipo Oscar for being his dummy. All right. Um, do not forget to subscribe to our podcast below if you have not already um, and you want to see more and you want to uh, give us some comments and feedback on more uh, podcasts that you're interested in. And please, please keep up the hard work. See you soon. Bye.